this is my home studio. <sighs> Beautiful, isn't it? These leggings are actually from Value Village. I don't remember how much it costs, but they're one of a kind, and I know I'll be the only one rocking them for a long while. This top actually is from my sister and it has the 70s tie-in dye vibe you know speaking of 70s vibes who loved the movie bad times at the el royale hands up because i know i did put your hands up no what i said no why not i don't want to but i've got a gun i don't care It doesn't make any sense. Too bad. By the way, this is not an extensive review on the movie. And number two, if you haven't watched it, get out of here. Because there will be spoilers. So don't blame you if you're still watching. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Get in Ibu. See what happened. Get out of here for real! I'm saying get out of here for real! Everybody dies! The end! Anywho, I'm just joking. What I loved about it was how the directors actually like portrayed human behavior in such an entertaining way and it actually piqued my interest to think about or to research why we behave the way we do. And there are three characters actually whose storylines actually put a fire in my belly about um, certain things in um, psychoanalysis. And I read up on a whole bunch of things today and I was like, you know what, might as well just do a video. So what I liked about these three characters and I labeled them the victim, the savior and the survivor. It's clear in the movie that Rose is the victim for two reasons. <clears throat> She's endured um, implied sexual assault from her father and that as a child makes you a victim because there's no escaping from that situation that you're in. You have to stick it out and she does until the father dies. And then she's a victim a second time when she encounters Billy Lee and joins the cult and you can kind of see that there's a, an emotional attachment that she has to him. I don't know if it's a romantic one or not, but she definitely loves the guy and she's definitely loyal to him to the point of being unfazed by him murdering her sister who actually protected her from her father and protected her actually from Billy Lee. So you see there's a lot of psychological things happening that you ca quite can't understand because it's like, so that bond that she had trumped the familial bond that she had with the sister. I had a hard time watching that scene because I was just like so upset with Rose, I couldn't quite understand what that Stockholm Syndrome was all about. And I still can't wrap my head around it. And I actually had no sympathy for her at that point. And anyways, um, and that's the victim. And that showed me that, you know, sometimes a person can endure trauma to an extent where they reach a point of no return and as a person there's only so much that you can do to help that person because it becomes a choice so the savior is her sister the savior is emily we see them coming from the same family uh, familial background they're in an abusive home there's physical abuse. The dad beats her up for protecting her sister and she stands up to him for just being a douchebag. And 
she keeps on getting assaulted there's also implied sexual assault by the father to her but then somehow she comes out of that situation stronger she knows what's right and what's wrong and that's the difference between her and her sister so she rescues her sister from Billy v and kidnaps her and tries to make the situation better but it actually ends up getting worse because unbeknownst to her the sister has a really has formed a very deep and strong connection to Billy and she's a savior because she's been trying to save her sister twice when she's been under the control, under the care or whatever of two abusive men. But the thing is that in both instances, she was unable to actually rescue the sister and rescue herself because it took her dad dying for, as far as we know, for them to get out of that situation. And as much as she tried to run away from Billy Lee, there was no getting away from him so she's a savior yes but then to her own detriment sometimes all you can do is just save yourself i mean i'm not saying it's wrong to be a sister and you know stick it out for your family but then that just shows sometimes when we get caught up in other people's situations that we don't always end up being A winner we actually sometimes can get in a situation where we actually end up losing our lives or whatever end goal you had in mind it just doesn't come to fruition so we have to be really real with ourselves with how deep these things go it's not just a matter of like you know see I save myself and I save somebody else everything is going to be good no Sometimes you can only do what you can do. I don't blame her for trying to help her sister, but then she she got there too late. And that's sad. But I loved that fact that they didn't try to paint a nice fairy tale story for us and showed us that yeah, in real life sometimes things do go south. And but I also liked in the case of the survivor who was Darlene. And she also went through a similar um, situation where she was a victim too of sexual harassment at work. And yeah, there she is just making a low income and she's sexually harassed by this music executive and she has everything to lose, her career, her income. But then she chose to get out of that situation and just start from scratch because like she was a talented singer and here's the thing about being a victim right what i was reading online in sim simply psychology they were talking about defense mechanisms right and how sometimes we have a hard time coping with our reality and we develop these psychological st strategies to help us deal with those situations temporarily until we can find a way out and so i don't know how she coped i can't say that i identified that but she was able to identify the shortcomings of abusers and i think the psychological battle winning that is sometimes greater than winning the physical battle it's the first step to winning the physical battle with people. If you win the psychological war, you're better suited to win, to get out of a situation first. You have to cure the mind, you have to change the narrative that is distorted about good and evil and not fall into the trap and think that, oh, this situation is hard for me to get out of.
The article said this, that there isn't anything wrong with a defense mechanism, granted that it is there for a temporary um, period. The danger comes in when it's there almost permanently or it's used too frequently. And if it's like there permanently or frequently, we're not dealing with whatever situations that have happened, whatever traumas that we've been um that we've been exposed to and endured and it doesn't it help us um develop skills to address and overcome those situations so we see in the case of the victim she was unable to cope and she fed herself whatever fantasy that she wanted to feed herself she was in a state of denial in thinking that the murderer of her sister was a man that loved her and a man that cared of her. I mean, cared for her. Um, we have to rise above whatever traumatic situations we have been exposed to. Um, and we see this Conversely, in the case of the survivor, now Darlene, she had understood whatever it was, whatever situation she was put in, she underst and she coped with it. She overcame it by getting out of that situation, by relocating and taking her chances. And she was stronger for it mentally. And she was even able to shut down Billy Lee. And I loved that scene. That was like my favorite, favorite scene in the movie. And, some, and the lesson that I learned as a savior is sometimes it's like too late. You don't know everything in a situation. And when you just think that you can solve everyone's problem yourself, Sometimes you might and it can, it can end up being to your own detriment. So sometimes you can only save yourself and hope that someone is ready to be saved and then like you take action because you might end up getting caught in the middle of something you don't understand and end up being collateral damage. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. It's crazy filming in a bathtub. Who does that, right? I don't know. Just special like me, I guess. Special like my leggings. Special like my shirt.